Hello everyone, good afternoon, good morning, good night, depending on the time you're seeing this video. So I feel like it's been a long time I did a sit down video. I've actually missed filming, I've actually missed talking to every one of you and I feel like I just have to come back here. I feel like there's this, um, there's a need for us to actually talk about this issue of dating, she practically friends between dating and courtship because I feel like a lot of persons have actually interchanged it and um, they tend to like make it seem to look the same, but obviously it's not the same. Then is love is not just a feeling, it is an emotion. Over the years, people have, you know, twisted the idea of love and romance and have totally mixed up the concept of dating and courtship. This is why a vast majority of present generation individuals suffer from heartbreaks, able to cope with the depression that follows it. Love is not just a feeling it is an emotion you say you love somebody you're emotionally connected to that person that you wouldn't want to do anything bad to the person right but when it comes to dating you are not just okay i think i should read from this manuscript now it says love is not just a feeling it is an emotion over the years, people have twisted the idea of love and romance and have totally mixed up the concept of dating and courting. This is why a vast majority of present generation individuals suffer from heartbreaks or unable to cope with the depression it follows. Heartbreaks. Depression. Now, when I say love is not just a feeling, anyone that loves you will not do something that will cause a heartbreak. Anyone that loves you will definitely not do something that will put you into depression. Now, I'm talking about courtship and dating. It's so obvious that dating is where heartbreak comes in. It's where you do stuff that leads you into the depression. Now, this is just like um, a short-term something that somebody wants to hook up with you. And they want to hook up with you. Probably they've seen your physique. They've seen your beauty. They've seen your intellect. They've seen that, okay, there's something appealing about this person. Probably your backside, your front side, everything that just feel appealing to them at that moment. Probably, they, probably they've not even, you know, seen you before. Or they've seen you before. Or they just want to hook up with you. And then their sole aim of actually trying to like um, hook up with you is to see if they could actually hook with you, to see if they could actually get something from you, to see if they could actually benefit something from you. And in that process, these things are actually done hidden. They are actually done in secrecy. In the process of this video, I'm going to end this video with characteristics of, or the difference between dating and courting. Yeah. And we are going to establish the fact that courtship is championed by God and dating is championed by your lusts. In most cases, you call it love, but it definitely, it's definitely not love, but lust. Courtship or courting is a relationship between a man and a woman, not a boy and a girl. A relationship between a man and a woman in its early development stage, wherein they get to know each other and develop a deep relationship so that they could purposefully explore the possibility of marriage. Now, from this, it says that it is a relationship or it is the coming of to, together of a man and a woman. A relationship at the early stage with the sole aim of getting to know if there is a possibility for them to get married. Now, of course, that is actually very important. Two persons need to come together, not in secrecy. That is after they must have sought the consent of their parents. They get to know each other or even before they seek the consent, consent of their parents. The most important thing there is that there is an intention of getting married. If I if I check and she has a good character, he has a good character, our, our genotypes are compatible, of course you must have gone to see a doctor to you know do your genotype test and other relevant tests to ascertain your compatibility for marriage, for childbearing, and for all of that. <laughs> That's actually very important. It's so appalling that people, you know, easily fall in love these days without even knowing their genotype. And in the process, they, I don't know, I just don't want to talk about that. I feel like these things should not be in my generation. Yeah, we are, there is a whole lot of knowledge flying about these days in our generation that we should not actually make these mistakes. Yeah, no matter, in fact, I believe God cannot lead you to someone that is not your genotype. If 
you fall prey to um, getting entangled with someone that is not your gender type. I think you need to pray because God is not an author of confusion. If you want to get married to somebody, everything is going to be perfect. In courtship, the soul essence is marriage. While in dating, the person just got attracted to you because of your physique, because of your, your height, your beauty, your intellect, your so many precious things about you. And they just want to hook up with you probably to gain something from you. Probably because of your body, your fronts, your back, and all of that. And by the time they've gotten what they want, it leads to heartbreak, it leads to depression, it leads to lack of commitment, it leads to so many things that, you know, of course, and for you to lead to such things, that means they are not, they've left, they've gone, they disappeared, they have served the breakfast. Yeah. Nobody was like, last, last, this breakfast is going to reach everybody. It can't reach everybody, it's only reach the foolish ones. I'm sorry. The desperate and foolish ones. If you're not desperate, if you're um, intentional about a life partner, if you're intentional about a marriage, then you cannot be safe to break fast. Um, Cousin is about developing a deep bond to ensure the relationship has a clearly defined direction and is going just the right way. Now, in courtship, there is this deep bond. You have actually developed a deep bond, a deep feeling of emotion that... And I don't know, just, I don't know if you, if you relate to what I'm saying. Like, in courtship, you discover that for you to even want to say you want to get married to, to someone, it means that you are emotionally attached to the person. Because if you don't love someone, there's no way you're going to get married to that person. I, 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 wouldn't, I wouldn't also deny the fact that there are persons that actually, you know, tend to end up in a marriage because of a man has money or because of some, you know, physical attributes. He's tall, he's huge, he's handsome, and every of those qualities that they feel it their spec. And then they end, end up getting married to that person. But a right marriage, a marriage that is based on the right foundation, is supposed to be a kind of marriage that is attracted, or that is built on strong bond, that is built on strong love. And in the process in courtship, these are the things you look out for. Do you really have this strong bond? For this person are you are you really emotionally attached to this person that if you don't see this person you you feel like something is out of you if this person is hot you feel like you're hot if something is wrong with this person like if something is wrong with the person you feel like it's going to affect you if you check yourself out and you don't feel those things like there's no butterfly that flies in your tummy each time you see this brother in church during your courtship period and wherever you find yourself in your courtship period then i feel like you don't love this brother i feel like there's no connection there is no emotional feelings between the both of you and you should not get married that's the point you should not get married you need to get married with someone you love someone you have feelings for i see people they just love is about emotions Love is about feeling. I don't start um, describing love because this is not all about love. But love is interconnected to this because if you're into courtship, it means that you love this person. It's so appalling how most couples, we heard stories of couples killing themselves. You stab me, I stab you. There is a lot of quarry. I'm not saying there's not going to be quarry in marriages. Of course, you're getting married to someone that is from a different background, that is raised with a different orientation about life. You guys come together in the process of trying to learn to adjust, to learn and unlearn. You're bound to quarry. But the love that is between you will make that quarry to settle fast. Will make you to like, you know, even learn understand yourself in the process of misunderstanding right love is very very important if you say you're caught in and you don't feel any emotion you're not emotionally attached to this person then i feel you're dating because it is only in dating that <laughs> you just do things because you want to pass out time you just do things because you want to have sex with this person. You do things because you want to gain something with this person and in the process you, you're depressed, you're heartbroken because by the time the person discovers that, oh, this person smiles this way, I don't like the way this person smiles, I don't like the way this person walks, and then it's over. This relationship is over. But when you love this person, the way he or she smiles will not turn you off, will not make it to call of the relationship will not make it to call of the marriage. And that is why they say in, 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 in dating, the end product is not about marriage. The end product is just for them to hook up 
have fun, have sex, do whatever, and they go their way. And nobody is even hurt because they both know that this is actually what they want, not marriage. So I asked, what is the essence of freaking around with a guy that is not going to get married to you? And in the process, they're crying. This, that. I feel like I need to change this location. They've come here. <sighs> yeah, so I had to change my location. They've actually got sent to the window where I am. Yeah, so what did I even stop, Seth? Now he says, cutting is not a decision, but a choice that puts emotional closeness over temptation and preserves sexual contact for marriage alone. Cutting is not a decision, but a choice that puts sexual contact to marriage because when you're cutting somebody you know that you, you already know that the process the the essence of cutting this person is because you want to get married to this person and then normally your 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 the hormones in your body will already tell you to calm down in fact the hormones or your body will calm down i don't know if you're going to agree with this one the hormones in your body is going to calm down because it will send a signal to your brain that this person is the person you're going to get married to. So there is no need of rushing this thing. It is only in dating that you want to guess, you want to have sex with that person immediately because you know that <laughs> this soap purpose is not actually marriage. And tomorrow this person might say, okay, I'm tired of you. So you want to see what is in that person already. But in cutting, it is not like that. Over the years or over the time, the concept of cutting has faded and replaced by modern day dating culture. Yeah, normally cutting is all about, you know, coming to get to know each other in order for you to see the possibility of getting married. But over the years, people tend to say when they are dating, they call it cutting. No, it is not so. It is not so. Now, dating is a modern day courtship culture, except it is a stage of romantic relationship where the parties involved meet socially to see if they stand a chance to be around each other. Now, I've actually tried to like talk about what courtship is. Now, I'm trying to talk about what dating is. Now, in dating, it says it is a courtship. It is a modern day courtship, not courtship, not the real courtship I'm talking about. I think I've tried to like distinguish that. Dating is a normal, a, a modern day culture except a stage of romantic relationship where the parties meet socially the parties involved meet socially to see if, if they have the chance to to be around each other their sole purpose is to see if they have a, a chance to be around each other and by the time they come together they hook up and then they say that oh okay imagine situations where you meet someone on a dating site. I've heard, I've heard people saying they meet someone on a dating site and probably the person is not as tall as they claim to be. is not as beautiful as they claim to be on the picture. And <laughs> But you actually have this beautiful picture in your head that, okay, this is how this person is going to look like. And by the time you now meet them, you're surprised. And all of a sudden, you don't like the person again. There is no longer a chance for you to be around each other. But if it's someone you have actually seen and then you like the person, you are emotionally attached to the person, I tell you, no matter the height, no matter the condition, no matter the background, no matter the makeup or no makeup, no matter the pimples on the face, you just discover you're, that you're going to love this person. That is why uh, sometimes when I ask my husband, why do you love me? My husband will be like, uh, he, he can't pinpoint the reason that. He just loves me the thing about love is that you may not you, you don't have a reason why you love somebody because if you have a reason why you love somebody when that reason goes off you discover that your love dies that is why most people don't have a reason of course you can love somebody because the person is neat the person is you love the way the person smiles you love the fact that the person is intelligent and spoken and all of that but then aside all of that you just love the person naturally but in dating it is not like that in dating believe it or not people get attracted to each other because of physical qualities just to have sex just to pass out time and at the end of the day by the time they leave each other they go their separate ways i mean <laughs> it brings depression it brings heartbreaks to the people involved the thing is when they come to know if there's a possibility of you know staying around each other why in marriage you get to um, see if there's a possibility of marriage 
of course if you actually have come to meet somebody and you have in mind that ah, she person actually loves me to the point of wanting to get married to me you are relaxed and then you <laughs> you can even talk about that person to your parents to your models to your loved ones and all of that and they know where you are going to it is not something that is done in secrecy another thing about um courting and dating is that courtship respects moral standards when it comes to celibacy courting in courting the so aim of courtship is marriage not to have sex with you the courtship respect the fact that sex is meant and solely meant for marriage while in dating since they don't have the end product is not marriage they tend to like get it, it it's even appalling that some persons on the first day of meeting you you already have sex no wonder the next day they call your line and <laughs> you can't even pick or you call their line and they can't even pick because they've gotten what they want courtship follows a no sex rule it preserves sexual contact for marriage only this is because they would get married and see no reason of rushing it now the purpose of courting is commitment you spend time to know each other with the prospect of getting married it is a commitment to honor god's will as you seek a partner with blessings from parents yeah in courtship there is commitment and that commitment entails seeking the will of god seeking the consent of your parents as well as your loved ones and everyone there to you in courtship your family knows who the person is there's no way you're going to love somebody and you want to get married to the person and you will not be like happy to talk about that person it is only in dating that you will be ashamed to talk about the person because of course it's so obvious that the person is not even the only person you're dating you're dating several other girls so you wouldn't even want to you know talk about the person you're dating because you don't want other girls to leave you because you still want to enjoy sexual intimacy with other people i feel like i've said much in this video i don't know if you've gotten anything but in essence what i need you to get in this video is that you don't need to be in any relationship with any man you don't need to date anybody if you're not ready to get married we need i think it's high time we reduce the rate of depression the rate of heartbreaking the world today because of dating he has left me i loved him most times in dating a party a one party might even be the only one loving yeah it's not out of place one person might actually be the only one loving and in the process the other person that doesn't love you that just wants to get something from you you know breaks your heart and you, it leads you to depression instead of trying to like you know test different type of ladies different type of man i think it's it's high time for you to like the single period is a time for you to like explore equip yourself financially skill wise Lay your hands on some skills or skills that you know that, okay, by the time I get married or even if the man, the man is not yet to come, I can be able to fend myself. I can be able to go to, to a restaurant and pay for my meal as a lady. I can be able to visit a friend without asking him for transport fare. And I mean, all of that. You also need to understand that anyone that is supporting you, even though it has been established that courtship obeys the no sex rule, till marriage if you're cutting anybody anybody and the, the the person that claims to get married to you is telling you you know we need to test to see if we're compa sexually compatible so that in marriage it's not going to be difficult the person that's actually a, a big deception from the pit of hell that person is not the will of god for you i don't know you can argue that it's not the will of god for you because the person that loves you will be committed to christ courtship is about commitment to the will of god and the will of god does not allow you to have sex before marriage even in fact something you can't even do it in front of your parents you can't even have sex with your partner and then you tell your parents about that or you are proud to go to the church and tell the church that you've had sex with this person if you know that these things are not right i know it's actually not easy that is why you should avoid being i mean in in, in a closed place with an opposite sex Anyways, I feel like I've said much in this video. If you've learned anything, just drop at the comment section and please share this video to anyone you feel 
may benefit with this video and don't forget to like subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell so that whenever i upload any video you're going to be notified thank you bye